Let's talk about this beer called Tulsa Flag from the Dead Armadillo Brewing Company in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let me read this to you off the back of the can. It says that this blonde ale is crafted with old world specialty malts which lend color and complexity, and there's a lot of complexity in there, to an otherwise simple recipe. American hops provide subtle earth and spice flavors along with fruit and citrus aromas which combine to create a delicate sense of balance. Designed from the ground up to be drinkable above all else, you will find it also pairs well with most foods. Sometimes I find that when somebody says something is drinkable, that uh, uh, translates to kind of blah, simple, flat, weak, not very good. Not the case here. The thing that surprised me about it is how golden it is. I just thought it would be more of a straw or pale color because it says it's a blonde ale, but that's that's a very golden looking beer. A nice white head on it. Definitely get those um, those spice notes. And there is a there's a crispness to it that I, I feel like implies complexity because it's not just a flat blah tasting beer. I say my friend David sent this to me. Thanks, David. Um, this is the first one of these I've ever had. First dead armadillo that I've ever had. And I like it. Word on the street is that there may be an IPA or something in the world famous beer refrigerator that you potentially could see later on. But this blonde ale is a winner. Anybody could drink it. Anyone could enjoy it. Neighbor doing some yard work, so I had to come inside, but I've got this one. This is an IPA. It's called Fly, Fly Me Away. Fly Me Away IPA. Numbers on it are 63 IBU, 7.6 ABV, and SRM, which I think is color, is, is 5. Let me read this to you off the back of the can. A little informational piece. It says, In the golden age of jet travel, Oklahomans traveled northeast in glamorous style, inspired by our state's colorful aviation history and featuring fruity, juicy hop flavors. This IPA is as hazy as the cabin of a 1960s jetliner. Do you remember you could smoke in, in the air back then? Secure your beer first before sharing with others. Put on your mask first before attempting to help other passengers around you. Mm, that's a nice one. Do they call it a Northeast IPA specifically? Yeah. Uh, a Northeast IPA featuring juicy, fruity hop flavors. Hazy, juicy Northeast IPA. That's exactly what it is. And it is certainly on par with, you know, any of the hazy, juicy Northeast IPAs that you'd have anywhere else. Again, easy to drink. Good taste, 7.6 IBU. Um, I'm going to finish this up and enjoy it, and that's all for now.